Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining in. So since we are aware that the price of Bitcoin was not able to find a proper support above this 46,000 range and also got a strong rejection from this 0.5 Fibonacci reversal line. Now the question here is, is it a sign of a trend reversal? Because getting rejection from this 0.5 Fibonacci reversal line could also indicate one scenario that is known as dead cat bounce i saw many people talking about dead cat bounce on yesterday video so thought including it in today's video as well because according to the dead cat bounce you can see the price after seeing this reversal type of scenario after reaching the point two we are going to witness some really fairly where this dead cat bounce actually occur and this dead cat bounce in traditional market is going to see 50 percent retracement but crypto is volatile we are already aware of that right so we are not just only going to look at this point five but also the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level before price chooses the trend duration because in most of the cases the price of Bitcoin right has broken not just only the 0.5 but came across this 0.618 before choosing an actual trend direction so that's why for me right now this price retracement what we are witnessing could actually be a retracement that could bring us around this 0.382 right that is sitting around 42,450 or 42,470 price area. So if this is going to be this temporary price pullback, then we are also absolutely fine with that because I showed you yesterday with many different examples that around 42,000, we do have some very, very strong line of support lying for Bitcoin because you can see around this area of this point 382, exactly around that area, we do have some very, very important line of resistance and support for Bitcoin, right? Because that line did actually act as a strong line of resistance. And now since the price of Bitcoin is trying to stay above this 45,000, I still believe that we could actually see a movement that could bring the price of Bitcoin at least around this 0.618, which is around 51,000 before choosing an actual trend direction. Because right now, if you look to the downside and look at the indicators, the indicators are about to turn very, very bullish also here in a weekly time frame. So that's why I will be actually looking around this 0.618 as our potential upcoming price target for bitcoin so even if the price let's say even if the price is going to see a rejection and get a pullback towards 42,000, we should still be very very fine because i showed you yesterday with this one example here and also guys i just want to make you aware that femix right now is providing around one thousand two hundred dollar bonus to our community member who sign up using this ref link and deposit at least one bitcoin this one thousand two hundred dollar bonus will be credited within 24 hour after your initial deposit so what you can do after this one thousand two hundred dollar bonus is credited leave your initial deposit on the site and just trade with this one thousand two hundred dollar free money provided by femex this is a great opportunity so definitely try grabbing it so now let's switch into another chart if you have watched my video you can see this is in a daily time frame and yesterday when we were doing this video we also said that the upper line area right around this 46,000 is actually going to be a strong line of resistance and to the downside this lower line area of this SNE channel is going to be actually acting as a strong line of support because exactly around that area you can also see this green moving average right this is the 20 exponential moving average is also lying parallelly around this lower line area so this means any sort of a price pullback you can see around this 42,000 we also have this moving average acting as a strong line of support around this area and we could still form this higher highs higher lows continuation pattern type of scenario and not just only this one scenario i also showed you one here with this cpi indicator this cpi indicator is a leading indicator it provides us with information beforehand and according to the cpi indicator for this august month the upward price target was already placed at the first of august and we were aware this air one line is where we might be getting gravitated and look at this we came exactly at this air one line and found rejection because yesterday when we were doing the video the price of bitcoin was trying to stay above this air one line and we also said if the price of bitcoin manages to find support above this monthly air one line that was lying around forty six thousand one seventy three dollar then we will be focusing around the next monthly air two line that is lying around fifty thousand eight hundred forty four dollar and also according to this fibonacci retracement line 
the 0.618 is also around 51,000 price area. So that's why we said if the price of Bitcoin is going to find a proper support at this monthly R1 line, then there is a very, very high chance that we are also going to witness this movement towards the monthly R2 line that is around 51,000 for Bitcoin. So now since we are getting rejection, we are also aware any sort of retracement, this price range around this 42,000 is where we will be monitoring. So that's why any sort of a price pullback, this 42,000 could be actually acting as a strong line of support. And after that, the price could see another movement trying to break again this air one line for Bitcoin. So this is also one scenario you have to take into consideration. And also, if you want to look at this in a smaller time frame, no problem, guys. Let me show you this one here. So now, if we look at the price action of Bitcoin in a four hour time frame, you can see here, guys, I'm actually going to add some very, very interesting scenario here in a smaller time frame for Bitcoin. Because if you look at the price action in this way, right? This actually looks like a very nice rising wage type of scenario. And according to this rising wage, you can see the support line has already been broken and also indicating that we could see some pullback type of scenario before price again chooses the potential train direction. But the question here is, if this is going to continue, how lower is it going to go? Because we said in the previous example, around this 42,000 area, right we do have some strong support lying around so if this is going to continue to the downside then we are also aware the price movement here right this one scenario here this ascending channel just like as shown here in an example you can see this ascending channel lower line sorry this ascending channel lower line is a very very strong line of support and we are aware of that because we have seen price of bitcoin finding a strong support every time it came around the lower line area and the upper line actually acted as a strong line of resistance right so if this is going to be a pullback any sort of a pullback then we are also aware that this lower line along with this moving average the 20 exponential moving average here in a daily time frame could be actually acting as a strong line of support around this 42,000 range and after that we could actually see a real movement here in this manner so is there any type of scenario also playing out parallelly right now inside this ascending channel not just only this rising wedge because if you look at the price structure here let me show you another scenario that could be also playing out here for bitcoin because if you look at this here you can notice you can see this here could be a ascending broadening wedge so according to this ascending broadening wedge if this is going to be a movement here in this manner right a pullback towards this lower line area of the broadening wedge and again a movement then we are aware that this lower line from this broadening wedge right could also be actually acting as a strong line of support around this 44,400 44,500 area so this line here to the upside actually acted as a resistance the lower line acted as a support so now if this is going to play out as a broadening wage for Bitcoin, then we are aware any sort of a price pullback that around this 44,500, 44,400, we do have some very, very strong support lying around for Bitcoin. And we could actually see this kind of movement also playing out for Bitcoin because this here is more of a broadening wage type of scenario for Bitcoin. So these are some of the scenarios I see right now looking at the price action of Bitcoin. If you enjoyed my work, then please hit the like button. And for those individuals watching this for the first time, hit that subscribe button and the bell. So by saying this, I'm signing out. My name is Anup. Bye-bye, guys.